So I've been in Denver for a week uh, working a conference, documenting it, and uh, figured I would stay on Saturday and just come ride. I got to hang out with Stephen Fitzgerald, the owner of Rodeo Labs, on Tuesday. We were talking about gravel rides. And on their website, he has a write-up about this ride. He asked the question, is this the best gravel ride in Colorado? Oh my gosh. We'll see. It's definitely not like North Carolina, that's for sure. I honestly had no idea what I was getting myself into. Mr. Fitzgerald warned me about this ride. And he told me to start off easy and definitely to pay attention to my body. Take enough water and enough food. So for a North Carolina boy, uh, here riding Phantom Loop, Phantom Canyon, in, in Canyon City. I'll get the name right eventually. Unbelievable. Like, I've never ridden anything like this before. Amazing gravel. Like, pristine. Slow grade. This, I'm like 10 miles in on a 50 mile ride. It is amazing. Along this route, you'll see these elevation signs. And it's just a reminder you're slowly getting higher. For the first 15 miles, it's a very slow, easy climb. And if you've not done your research and fully don't understand what you've gotten yourself into, you could definitely get yourself in trouble. Hopefully, that won't be me. But this is the Suffer Club. So let's just keep going. The unfortunate part of using wide angle action cameras is it doesn't show these beautiful mountains and these beautiful ravines. Well, I stopped at that little spring right there because, man, it is a gorgeous day, but, God, the sun is just beating the crap out of me. It's so, uh, so sunny that we're trying to conserve water because I've been told this is a long route. It looks like I'm like two-thirds. I'm 24 miles in, so... Uh, it's, I mean, it's a smooth gravel climb, but just the sun is just baking me. So, so freaking hot. So, I uh, cooled myself off in the cold water. Felt so good. Now we get back on the bike. I have said this a few times, but this is the most beautiful ride I have ever been on. It honestly has been the perfect day. I would definitely say that uh, these North Carolina lungs and legs are not built for 8,000 feet efforts. Man, it is gorgeous, but whew, elevation ain't no joke. Just keep keep going. This Phantom Canyon Loop has some really beautiful bridges and very cool tunnels. I've never seen anything like this and it's been so cool experiencing this on a bicycle. But unfortunately, the elevation is getting to me. Well, I have been sleeping right there for about 15 minutes because unfortunately, I think the altitude has gotten to me. Um, my legs feel good, uh, but I have no power um i'm up at like nine thousand feet at this moment and i'm not used to it and i've got about another thousand feet and probably another seven miles to the turnaround point which would give me 35 miles back i'm like 25 27 miles in at this moment so uh i don't want to but it's probably a smarter uh move me being by myself to just turn around and go back down the hill 
um, and head back into the city. Now, I'll say, uh, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous ride. Like, I am bummed that I'm not going to be able to finish the entire route. Uh, but, man, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. You know, with, with things like this, I have to remind myself that I'll be happy with the results I get from the effort that I put in. I've given it everything I could. I've laid here. I've eaten. I've got water. I've got everything I need. I'm just out by myself, uh, 25 miles from a car or from civilization. Um, there's no cell service here. And it's probably smarter for me to just turn around and go back than to keep pressing. This is not a normal thing for Aaron, but uh, Stephen told me that this would be a difficult ride, and uh, it's a difficult ride. It's gorgeous, though. Like, gorgeous. It's not, I, I would say that the difficulty is not necessarily um, the terrain, because it's super smooth and, like, perfect gravel. It's just relentless, and it's a 25 mile relentless climb that I've had one downhill that was probably 15 feet long and it wasn't downhill so uh, it was just uh, where I didn't have to pedal constantly so hey this is gorgeous now I get a 25 mile downhill ah oh, that's gonna be awesome so we'll record some more the route and the grade in the Phantom Canyon loop is so gradual and it seems so easy on paper. So what's your name? Sunny. Sunny? And Andrea. Andrea. Okay, so I was bombing the hill and I see Sunny and Andrea coming up on a tandem with a tow behind. Oh my god, this is impressive. So, oh yeah. bravo. Listen, thanks for letting me chat. Oh yeah. I won't be able to hang on much longer, so y'all have a good day. <laughs> you too, buddy. Good to meet you. Y'all as well. Y'all, for sure, I fly home tomorrow. Steven, you were right. The elevation is no joke. For the last 10 miles, there was a ridiculous headwind and I laid on the bars to get as aero as I possibly could and could still only pedal about nine miles an hour because of the fatigue that this elevation has caused my body. If you're in Colorado and have time to go ride, and have lungs acclimated to Colorado, I definitely would come ride this. It is unbelievable. The gravel is so plush going up. Now it is a little wash washboard um, coming down. So there's very few times I was able to pull my hands off the uh, bars just because at the speed you're going, uh, it's kind of a little washed out. But unbelievable uh, gravel, unbelievable scenery. There's very few clouds in the sky. It has been gorgeous. Um, and in the shade, it is even better. So, uh, that'll be another, I'll keep riding back, but uh, yeah. I honestly wish I would have recorded more video at the end of this ride. I stopped at a gas station, got me two Gatorades and sat outside and kept falling asleep. I spent over 45 minutes sitting on the curb at the gas station. But for you, Phantom Canyon Loop, I'll be back. Well, pretty fun. This was definitely worth it. A little $5 ticket from, uh, from Canyon City, but I want to give you a little context. Out the window, over that hill was where I was riding. So if you've liked this video, you can always show it some love by hitting the like button. And if you've ever ridden this route, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, if you would like to subscribe, you know where the button is. But until next video, adios.